My name is Rashid El Garab, and I am project lead for uh, Google Spotlight Stories, which is a project that um, is exploring how to tell stories in an interactive and an immersive world, uh, from uh, 360 on mobile all the way to VR. From uh, a technology company that is Google, uh, there's uh, of course a lot of challenges that uh, have to do a lot with getting animation to consumers, to viewers, new viewers that are more and more consuming entertainment uh, in digital media, whether it's on their phones, on uh, browsers, in uh, through YouTube or any other uh, services, and so. There's a lot of talent in animation, and being able to provide that to viewers and show them what's out there and give them means to discover all the beautiful animations that are produced all over the world um, is a big challenge, but also a big opportunity. Google in general, of course, uh, has a lot of digital platforms, uh, including uh, YouTube with one billion views every day, which allows animators to have a, a direct conversation with their audience. But uh, as, as a part of, uh, in, in my small word of Google Spotlight Stories or VR storytelling in general, uh, new opportunities of telling stories in a different way and giving people um, an interesting new experience in digital worlds like seeing stories on mobile phones in 360 which is something that's made for 360 viewing or in providing animators and filmmakers ways to create stories for this new uh, world of uh, virtual reality and so we're, uh, we're not only creating technology to be able to uh, enable these filmmakers and animators, but we're also working with them on stories um, that, that will, together we will figure out what's the new film language and what's the, the new tools that are needed and what's the new ways in which they can get their, their craft out to the audience. And we've, uh, we've created films with some of the great animators like Glenn Keane, uh, with a story called Duet, or Patrick Osborne, which we're showing uh, this year at Annecy, uh, with a story called Pearl. We're showing it in virtual reality. And worked with studios like Ardman uh, to create a story called Special Delivery that we, uh, we put on YouTube last year. All of these uh, different uh, projects are enabling us to, as a digital company again, and as people, technical people working in virtual reality, to discover how people create animation now and how should they create it for the next generation of uh, you know, kids that are gonna become adults later. Really it's to have the conversation with animators and creators. Uh, th there's all these new forms of not only delivering stories but telling stories and there's a lot of uh, curiosity about virtual reality and um, I think everybody in the system wants to know how to create these things, how do people watch them, where do we start and so we love having that conversation and see what kind of projects we can collaborate on to further develop this new medium. So we're, we're looking to meet with anybody from a small, you know, from a new student in animation who wants to uh, figure out how to start all the way to animation companies or studios that are also trying to think about VR or, or are already working in it and they just want to exchange, you know, stories good and bad about uh, these kinds of productions. So we've done co-productions before and so we're, we're looking to further do that and discover with everybody else how to, uh, how to make great content for the new generation.